Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we did battle with the Brutals over for a wedding dress at the Lake Kingdom. And the other option that we were given initially to go to was the Wooded Kingdom, which we will be doing. Now let's go ahead and chase them down. Get freaky with some trees. Hope you all have been doing well. It's been a little minute, minute since I played this. Hope you're all hanging in there and warming up here now that the springtime has sprung. Go outside and enjoy some nature like we're going to do today in this episode. It's good for you. Get in touch with your green side. Not your mean green side, though. No hulking. All right, calm down. I really enjoy how aggressive Cappy becomes over time. Little little fiend. But yeah, as you um like we saw in two episodes ago, when you uh do these little travelings in between destinations, you get a little bit of a uh, tips and tricks from Cappy. And an acknowledgement of the pro controller, so thank you for that, for letting us show off how elite we are as a player of Mario Odyssey. Okay. So we're going to read up on the Wood Kingdom. This is where we're going to be after the Soiree Bouquet. That's a fun word. Soiree. I'd like to go to a soiree. I've been to one before, but it wasn't what I thought. The Wooded Kingdom and the Steam Gardens. No music. Oh, probably just killed a bunch of wildlife. Totally chill. Here we are. The Road to Sky Garden. That area in the middle is where we're going to be heading, of course. There's some goo. Always goo. Alright, so here we are. Um, welcome to the Wooded Kingdom. Let's see. We can go ahead and check out the brochure. I keep forgetting to do this, so I'm going to try to start off new areas by doing this. Ancient gardens tended by futuristic machines. This is the steam gardens. Population is automated. Currency is nut shaped. The industry is flowers. Probably not doing so hot. Climate change and everything. Pretty balmy temperatures. Nice average 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is for you Celsius bros, but I'm sure you can do the do the math. So here you go. Um, once again, I'm not going to read through these just because there's a lot. But I will show it on screen here for a moment. And if you'd like to pause and read these things, then uh, feel free to do so. These little tidbits are kind of neat. Um, yeah, I'll read this one, though. Usually the yellow stuff is a value. Flowers as a way of life. While you'll see amazing flowers on any visit, you might be lucky enough to see the famous Steam Gardens Soiree Bouquet. It features giant white flowers that charm all who lay eyes on it. As you might guess from the name, it's by far the most popular bouquet for wedding ceremonies, sought after by wedding planners the world over. Very neat. If you don't like flowers, you can get out. There's also a deep woods section of the Wooded Kingdom, which we'll be visiting later. And the gimmick of this one is uh, these growing walkways of plants that will pop up. So three keys to the kingdom. Smell the flowers, not that you can miss them, but do savor the scent. Savor my scent, viewers. Admire the steam gardeners and their impressive devotion to their work. And finally, appreciate machines and nature living in exquisite harmony. Because AI is taking over and we will all be dead soon. All right, wonderful. So, you can wander around in this area. Like I said before, it has been a hot, hot minute since I've played this game. So, we will get back in the saddle as soon as we can, of course. There are tons of dancing robots ushering us ahead. There is a... Merchandise stand, which we don't really have anything to do with yet. We don't have enough of these nuts to do anything. You know what, game? Maybe I want to take a nice leisurely climb. How about you back off? How about you just get out of my way? Looks like we've got another Sphinx. An odd location for it. Okay. Hmm, is it water, wood, flowers, or soil? Huh, I'm not sure. Oh, flowers. Bing bong! There you go. Anywho. I didn't know that sphinxes spoke in slang, but apparently they do. 
Anywho, let's get up there and grab some nuts. What does this have to say? Okay. Thank you, I already did that. Oh look, viewers, it's Goo! Nice to meet Goo. What is this, Super Mario Sunshine? <laughs> Leave that poison to me. It's actually like a uh, grape drank. And Cappy is very fond of it. It's actually one of the best, probably, songs in the game, I would say. Kind of like some funky, uh... It's not really jazz, exactly, but it is pretty darn funky. But this is one of the best of the... ...capturable enemies in this kingdom. I think it's like an onion or something? Pretty awesome. Helps you reach some hard to reach places. Whoop, gotta hurry. Whoop, there we go. We always love a nice big nut. That's right. If you're gonna nut around the corner, just make sure that there's nobody around to see you. Alright, here we go. Sneaky nut. Alright. Let's keep popping around here. There's. Talking to. Danger, danger. We're a delicious onion. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yep. Perfect. Getting quite a few of these, um... Oh boy. <laughs> its eyes are so... Oh, look at this. That's terrifying. Um... Oh! And we're dead. That was a tutorial on what happens when you don't jump correctly. So, oops. And... Your punishment... Is the deep woods. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in the Feron Woods from, like, Twilight Princess. That game always scared the poo out of me. Alright, so this tree looks a little weird. Well, <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, I don't know... Was it just supposed to... Oh, okay. We will just steal your... Your special moon that you've been probably growing for your entire life. Ooh. If it can't see us, it doesn't know that we're here, right? That's a little nasty secret. Some dinosaurs here? I forget how to do the spin cap thing. Oh, that would have been another moon, but that would have been a little bit too cheap. My button pressing is going poorly, as to be expected. There's probably more going on here, but uh, I need that dinosaur to come my way. Ooh, my Mario is guild. Pull the lever to receive a seed. Okay. Now the question is, where do we take this seed? We got a big nut here. Oh boy, viewers. Oh, everything is horrible. Okay, well, the music apparently became very anticlimactic almost immediately. Sir? 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 Can you come here, please? Littlefoot? Oh! Oh my gosh. It's chaos. Oh no. This is terrifying. And it's gone. This is a very strange little area. You can play around in it if you want to. Um, I don't know. I believe this is probably where I need to take that nut. Although I dropped it. If you're gonna have a if you're gonna have a big nut, it's probably best to do it in the deep woods. Nobody's gonna know about it there. Okay. Well, mm, where did that? Where did that robot go? It's around here somewhere. My sense of direction is negative a thousand, so... Oh, there's lizards here, too. Oh, nope, nope, sorry, you didn't see me. Nope, it's not what you think. Nope, stay away. Quit, bye. Quit. Stop. 
you do have the ability to obviously capture this dinosaur if you do it right, which I'm probably not gonna be able to do. This almost kind of sounds like the music that plays when you get caught in Metal Gear Solid. No. Oh boy. Run. Run, Mario. Yeah, Cappy, I know. I'm also trying not to get murdered here by a dinosaur. Save it. Okay, well, apparently that's nothing. I booty stomped that twice and I got nothing out of it. Unfortunately, we're at a point where um, coins do not heal you in this game, which is annoying. All right. So, don't we all? I need time to prepare the next seed. You can't be making seeds too fast. All right. So I believe there was a, this will probably create a method to go above. Whoop. Get in there. Look at me. Old Jackson and the Beanstalk. So I don't know if this is like the prescribed way to get out or what. Hello. Oh, there's minions up there. I hate the movies. All right. Don't worry, we'll get them for you, baby. Ain't a thing. The pipe down here, though. Let's see what we get if we follow this. Probably gonna get into the poo water. All right. A little bit of a... Watery section. Oh, boy. <laughs> That was probably for the best, if we're being completely honest. That dinosaur did do a quite a number on us. But we need the water level to be high. Oops. Anyway, I hate these guys. From my time all the way back to playing Super Mario World, never been a fan. But if we do... Oh, man. This is uh, trickier than it should be. Probably because I'm not being very careful. This ever-changing water level is making things a little oh boy a little bit precarious that was pretty flexible though they did give you they do give you quite a bit of time right here although i do need some oxygen we're not all right we're just gonna die <laughs> at least it's not as terrifying as when you play something like um mario 64 watching mario drown in that game is just absolutely terrifying all right we're off on a good uh on a good note here, starting this well again. Is this something? Oh, that's a bonus. Got him. The Flooding Pipeway Ceiling Secret. Wow, what a very creative name. There's a lot of moons in this game, so I will give them some, some slack. But they had to come up with a lot of names. Okay. Let's, uh, not repeat. Oops. Well, that's cheap. Um, I was gonna say, let's not rip. Oh boy. <laughs> Can I just get out of here, please? The flooding pipe boy. That's why this game, I feel like the agency is a little bit tough to follow sometimes just because you can find moon so fast and there's a lot. So it doesn't quite feel as rewarding, I think, as when you would be entering a galaxy stage or a sunshine stage and you're gonna get oops a shine or you know a star etc I look like plant food to you maybe just blow him up cappy maybe cappy has one of those weird uh fascinations with being eaten Ooh, could use that thank you read my mind Okay. We are doing very well, and if by well, I mean not well. Is there another one of those hearts in here, too? That'd be great. Cool. 
This is probably not as hard as I am making it appear to be. So rest easy, viewers, knowing that if you are going to be playing this, you're probably going to have a much better time. All right. We will commission this boy here. How do you feel about onions, viewers? Red, white, green, shallots, scallions, perhaps. I remember for a long time, I would never even consider eating an onion. I always avoided them. I know that they are included in a lot of cuisine from many different cultures, but for some reason I just couldn't convince myself to eat them, which is silly because they're delicious. I love me a good red, red maize nut, so I've changed my ways, viewers. I have grown up. My palate has changed. It's kind of a thing that happens to humans in general as we get older, but um, I grew up with a family that primarily ate bland food. Like, we're talking salt and pepper, maybe, if you're lucky. But now that I'm an adult and I can do my own thing whenever I heck and want, I'm gonna eat onions all the... No, I'm not gonna... Okay. It's, I don't seek out onions, just to be clear. I do like them. I think that they add a lot to a meal, but I'm not gonna go, we're not gonna get too crazy, okay? We can't be doing that. I am picking up a lot of these nuts already, which is nice. This kingdom is great though. Oops. The music is good, everything looks really pretty. Um. Just enjoyable. The captures are good. There's a lot of big nuts. Who doesn't love that? All right, the nut at the dead end. Sometimes it's good to have a nut when you're feeling like you're at a dead end, viewers. Clear your mind, you know? Oh yeah, boy. Got him. Just moons galore right now. Okay, that was probably a story moon. <laughs> the road to Sky Garden. I don't know if this is what I was supposed to be doing. Are we gonna get a cutscene now? Oh! We broke the button. The flower thieves of Sky Garden. We'll be heading that way eventually, don't worry. That area in and of itself is a little bit of an intricate walkabout. So we will get there soon. We still have some more exploring to do. Oh, I guess it's just part of this. I kind of want to go and, um... Is this just part of the, yeah. That would take forever, no. Uh, oops, that is the wall. Can I make it? Okay, oops. No. Probably should have long jumped, and we're back in the woods. Not really where I want to be. Oh, there's nuts over here too. Nice. These are hecking everywhere. I am grabbing a lot of these and I do think it would be fun to cash in on all my, uh, all my currency here. But first I do remember there was the refractory robot over here that's having a little bit of difficulty Getting more seed for us. Need to visit him and then pop a seed on over there. Is this actually anything? No? Okay. Here you are. Oh, love a receive seed. Thank you, robot. All right. It was over here. Maybe this will be another way up. A different locale. Upon doing so. Brrr. Oh, there's another seed robot literally right next to it. Okay. We're learning, viewers. Hello. Yes, yeah, so here here is the um here's the the problem here, viewers. Very much so like when we were dealing with the people in um the Lake Kingdom. You got to look the part and we do not yet. So, but there is one of these. 
Where's this? I did not... Where, where am I going? Uh... Was that it? Okay, so now I know that's not very clear where you're supposed to go. I think it's just a matter of kind of racing to it, so maybe if I hit it from this direction. There we go. It's a race against the clock! Go, Mario, go! Alright, there it is. Oh boy. Hurry! Uh. Okay, well, you know. That wasn't ideal. Is this just more of the Goombers? Nope, coins. Alright, where is that pumpkin boy? I'm gonna try this one more time. And see if I can make it. It is kind of dumb that they don't really show you where that is. And if you do go the wrong way, you're not getting it. Are you kidding me? Come on! Come on! I jumped on it. You know how the saying goes, viewers, four times a At least I know where I'm going this time. If I can spin around fast enough, go! Come on. Ooh. Glowing in the deep woods. Just in the nick of time. Did I go in this pipe yet? I don't know. Let's do it anyway. Okay. Um. Well. More nut to enjoy. We're definitely going to be... High roll in when we find wherever that shop is. Okay, more coins, don't care. You do still actually want to get coins eventually because each kingdom has a purchasable um, power moon, so. Um, I don't know. Okay, did I not, did I do this? I feel, okay. I'm not, oops, sorry. Little percussive maintenance for you. I don't know if I'm going remotely the right way, if the things that I'm doing have already been done. I have the memory of a goldfish. Oh, that's better sound a new spot actually. It's very convenient. And kind of sad because there's no music. All right, where is, ooh, there's more over here. And it's right by the shop, so this is perfect. It seems like the game gives you a little bit of flexibility in that they don't immediately murder you. Instead, you get to uh, head down to the deep woods. And what is that over there? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out later, viewers. Spoilers, we will. All right, here we go. Let's get our costume ready so we can look authentic and appropriate the culture of the Wooded Kingdom. I am well aware. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and Look like we're fresh out of Indiana Jones. Thank you. we Will do. Don't change out in public. It's a little weird. Change now! Just kidding, do it. Okay. Oh, I wasn't trying to buy it. Is it going to let me wear it already? It might not have the hat on. Nope. We look goofy. We got to fix this. But first, spend money. Late stage capitalism, all right. So like I said before, um, every kingdom is going to have a power mode. So you can buy that, and we will certainly do so. Boop, we still have quite a few that we need to grab. And there's some more nuts. Most of the kingdoms as well, besides just having the, um, the outfits that you can buy, there's like trinkets. Little knickknack paddywax. Let's go ahead and pop back. Oops, I did not mean to kick that. Let's pop back into the Odyssey for a second. We can change in there. So yeah, this kingdom needs 16 moons. They will scale as you go. So let's go ahead and put on our exploring hat. Confirmed. Look at us. We look fabulous. Look like a... Wealthy person about to go on a safari and kill some endangered animals. 
Looking at you, Jimmy Johns. All right, so let's find... I want to go down back into the deep woods into that area. I'm going to do a little test here and see if it'll just send me back if I fly off the edge. Let's go! Perfect. Now we can be an extra of Jurassic Park. Now I don't remember where that area was. That's going to be the downside, viewers, is I don't know where I'm going, so... Consider that a luxury of this episode. Ooh. Mr. T-Rex over there. We're going to stay away from him for a little bit. We're just trying to join some highly esteemed club of explorers. Explore galore. Cool? Great. There's all kinds of little baby lizards here, too. Alright, so... We got the big nut here. I think it's nice that it actually remembers when you nut. Sometimes I don't. Alright, are you the one who was very... Annoying? Yes. Okay! Enjoy the mysterious unknown. Why not? Is this it? Oh, it's just oh. Well, that was a uh, anticlimactic. I thought that was actually going to be something fun. I think I do want to conclude this episode though by trying to snag that dino. Dino DNA. All right. Um. Ooh, there is one more. Oh, that one's like got light shining from it. Oh, we did this one already. The draw distance wasn't good enough. All right. I think we've done all the... All the big nuts so far. What is this? Can we move this? Oh my god. <laughs> you can capture everything. That should be good enough. Let's sneak into this tree. Whoop. All right, so that's just more coins. I don't know if there's a set amount. I mean consistently of the coins in the various kingdoms. I would imagine so, but... All right, maybe if we stick our finger in his butt, oh, he'll come after us. Oh, he's mad now. We put our finger right in his butt, oh. Okay, stop. Quit. Quit it. Oh, things are going very poorly. Backflip, use the backflip. Nope, up. that's the front flip. Get there. Can I knock your hat off? Why is this not working? I thought that would work, but apparently not. Can I get you to run into something, maybe? It'll knock your hat off? I don't think so. Oh, wait, did that work? Oh, he's all dizzy now. Now we get to be the king of the beasts. All right. I don't know... If there's any value to what I'm doing, or if there's like moons hidden in these, there might be one underneath there. We only have a certain amount of time with Mr. T-Rex here. And I, I believe that this is the only way to destroy these weird brown blocks. There's more over here. I saw that there was a... spot underneath the one set, which I have now since forgotten where that is. I don't even remember where we first grabbed you. Where we first met our dino pal. Somewhere over here. I think it might have been this one. Alright, can you not try to kill us too? Just stay. Alright, so that's the Goomba one. Oh boy. I want to say it was over here, but I don't know. Probably not really worth a ton of time trying to investigate. Although it is really... Oops! I just got killed by Goombas. You don't want to take a Goomba under your behind. That's okay. Alright, so nice refreshing dip. And... You know what, viewers? Unless it's this one, but I don't think so. It is rumbling really hard in my pro controller. Nope, just more goombas. 
that might have actually even been the same one. Let's go ahead and get the H out of here. Okay, very cool. Um, I think this is more of the... Ooh, wait, did I see more nut? The big nut up there, how do I get there? Need one of them onion boys, there he is. Let's do a little teeny tiny bit more exploring here. The only downside to onions is you gotta make sure you're brushing your teeth after they make your breath all stinky. Oop, okay. Probably gotta be a big nut up here, I would assume. Yes. Atop the tall tree. That's a good place to have a big nut. And I don't know... Ooh, there's some up here too. Excuse you. Can we get down there safely? I don't know if we are immune to water or not. Oh, I can go even further. Look at that. We can go even further beyond, viewers. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how we get up there. Oh, we can. There's a little back door. What is that? Fire, bro. What's up, bro? Uh, I don't quite know. I don't know what anything does. We're just exploring. We're an explorer. Okay. Oop. This looks like a cool little extra area. Alright. Now that the music's back, we'll vibe for a few more moments here. Uh, how in the heck do you want me to get over there? I do not know. But I do like being an onion boy. It is fun. Excuse you. Just trying to fry our onions. I will just grab this power moon. This will be the last one of the day. Climb the cliff to get the nut. Very cool. All right. And then in the uh, in the next episode, we will be heading that direction to go confront the brutals. Let's get a little bit a little bit of clarity. We'll confront the brutals over in the sky garden next time this would go away I would like it to do that I do not need you to tell me that anymore thank you all right so thanks for watching everybody Ooh, hold on a second am I trying to get a thumbnail maybe thanks for watching everybody I've been D Mike uh, this has been Super Mario Odyssey and I will catch you guys next time bye